we all are searching for that perfect oil. That perfect oil that's going to grow our hair to our knees, that's going to give us a more defined curl pattern, that's going to reduce the frizz, going to make our hair feel better, it's going to make our hair softer, and we will just know as soon as we put it on our hair that this is the oil for us. If your hair is dry, frizzy, matted, and it's just looking like an afro all the time, well, let me tell you, that is not your hair's true texture. Your hair's true texture is more of a defined coil, ringlet, or curl. So all that frizz is just actually a side effect of not caring for your hair properly, having bad hair practices, or just using the wrong product, the wrong oil, the wrong butter. Once you find the perfect butter, the perfect oil, you will see a dramatic change in the texture of your hair almost immediately. Welcome back, curl friends, to another episode of Coconuts. On this channel, I'm constantly showing you how to get to longer, stronger, thicker hair because that is the goal. And if it's not your goal to get to long hair, which I don't know why not, I'm sure your goal is to have healthier hair and we all can appreciate that. So make sure you are stay tuned because on this episode, I'm going to break down why it's important to go on a journey to find the perfect oil and the perfect butter made for your hair. Because you can't just be using any butter, any oil. I mean, you can until you figure out what your hair needs. But once you do find the perfect oil with the perfect amino acid content, you are going to realize that your hair only really needs one oil. The client I'm working with right now, she has 4C hair and she has been natural for some time, but now she's on a long hair journey, which is a big difference because being natural is just removing chemicals from your hair's regimen. But going on a long natural hair journey, oh baby, that's a whole different ball game. That means you trying to get your hair as long as possible, as thick as possible, and you just want healthy, long hair, period. That's it. Okay, so big, big difference. So she came to me because she was wearing a lot of wigs and the wigs were rubbing off the edges of her hair. Sometimes, even if you don't use glue with your wigs, the friction between the lace and the very beginning of your edges, like your forehead area, it can begin to like literally rub away your edges little by little. And you can still be wearing a stocking cap and it'll still rub it. I suggest if you wear wigs and you want to prevent that friction, instead of using a regular nylon stocking cap, go ahead and get you a real stocking pantyhose from like Macy, Nordstrom, Saks, you know, spend that coin and get you a real silk pantyhose or satin pantyhose, the same color as your skin, put it on, cut the legs off. Bada boom. Okay. I'll make a video on that to show you how. But let's get back to what this video is about. Finding your perfect oil for your hair. Because listen, when she first came to me, her hair was frizzy. It was matted. It was a lot going on. But I started testing different oils on her hair and then I started introducing her to the magic growth oil because I just was like, you know what? I have worked with someone who has a similar texture to this, a similar feel to their hair, and their hair really loved castor oil and it loved passion fruit oil. It really loved thicker oils. So I gave her the routine of using the magic growth oil and I started using it on her hair. And when I tell you, I see a difference from her last install and this install. You may not see it, and you may not feel it because, you know, this TV, okay? But I can see that her hair is starting to defrizz. And I'm starting to see more of a curl pattern. Now, you can't really see it now because I finger detangled her hair. But in the beginning of the video, you seen that we were starting to see her ringlets starting to come in. Now, once she starts introducing the magic growth oil more consistently, and once she starts incorporating maybe steam treatments, there will be a dramatic change in the texture of her hair. And that's because she is on her way to figuring out what amino acid is missing from her molecular chemical makeup of her hair strands. And she's going to provide that amino acid for it. Basically, your hair is a protein. 
keratin. So amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. So certain amino acids are needed for certain people when it comes to hair growth. And that depends on your diet, your family background, your your medical history, and just all different type of stuff go into figuring out what amino acid may be missing to make up a stronger hair strand. Now you got to do the same thing. You have got to start testing out what oil, what butter is going to work for your hair. And you have to start researching and testing out different oils and butters. And when I say oils and butters, I mean natural oils and butters. I don't mean going into the beauty supply store and just picking up a bottle of grease. No, honey. Those contain ingredients that you have no idea what's in there. They have long names. They are synthetic. And they ain't real. Okay, I'm talking about real natural oils from the earth. Castor oil, babasu oil, percoxy oil. There are so many different oils and butters out there to choose from that are from nature. So once you go on that journey to figuring out what oil, what butter your hair needs, you will see that you are wasting your time just using a whole bunch of synthetic products when you only needed water and maybe one oil. I'm still on my personal journey to figure out what oil my hair likes and I'm fine with it because along the way I get to experience so many different exotic butters and oils from around the world. But I do get to notice what oils don't work for my hair. Like for my hair, olive oil just doesn't work for my hair at all it just sits on top of it it doesn't really get into the hair strand my hair feels more coarse after i use it it gets more tangled and i know not to use olive oil in my hair routine and that'll be the same thing for you okay so once you figure out what oil works for you you can then begin to incorporate it into protective styling because she enjoys sewings now and check that. You see how I'm stitching that, that weave, okay? Now, you stitch it in the front like that if you want to cover them edges. And it works every single time, honey. But when you incorporate the right oil with the right protective style, your hair will grow so fast and so long. You're, you won't even be able to keep up with the new growth. And you will see that your hair strand literally begins to get thicker. And that's because... Your hair strand is literally regenerating because you are providing the perfect amino acid content for your hair structure. I developed a cheat sheet for you because I know there's a lot of people out there who want to know what oils and provide what benefits to your hair. So that will be posted at coconuts.com on July 4th. So you can go ahead and grab that if you are interested in figuring out what butter, what oil, what herb, what root is going to provide what benefit for the hair strand, okay? So I am doing a sew-in on her. As you can see, I used a net because she wants to make sure that it is intact for a longer period. She is trying to keep this hair extensions in for a couple of months because she's trying to get that good growth. She will be using her main magic growth drops on her scalp to stimulate hair growth she will be using her main magic elixir in a spray bottle to make sure she is trying to get those braids within the sewing hydrated at all times i really encourage you to learn more about your hair because your hair is always trying to talk to you <laughs> i know yeah but it really is when it's acting unruly when it's giving you problems when it's always matted when the ends are breaking your hair is literally trying to tell you what you're doing is not working for it it's literally trying to say um hello uh i don't like what you putting on me i don't like how you manhandling me okay so listen to your hair change up that protective style change up those products if your hair is not literally being soft if it's not being manageable if it's not being less frizzy that means what you're using on it is not working okay that means you're not using enough water that means you're not washing your hair enough. That means your scalp is dirty if your hair is constantly itching. Or it means you're using a product that 
your scalp just does not like and it's an accumulation of buildup on your scalp so you need to wash it off if your hair is too dry after you shampoo maybe your shampoo is too strong and you need to switch to a natural shampoo that's a little bit more gentle that's not going to strip your hair of its natural sebum maybe if you're using conditioners and your hair feels like it still has a waxy coating on change your conditioners or stop using conditioners it's so many little things you need to really pay attention and listen to your hair so you can really know what to do to fix your hair because your hair is trying to tell you um find a better way and once you do your hair will start reacting it will be on its best behavior your hair luster will be on point the shine will be there the length will be there the width will be there and you would just see so much of a bigger change in your hair once you go on that journey to finding the perfect oil for your hair okay so make sure you stay tuned and i will continue to drop more videos thank you so much for being a part of the long hair society i am so grateful for all my supporters and my subscribers you guys i really enjoy doing this i'm so thankful for my clients and i will continue to post as much as I can. I will even get better at posting because I know long hair is important to a lot of my fellow subscribers, okay? Now, make sure you head to coconuts.com, grab you a magic growth oil if you feel like you want something that's going to really help improve the look and feel and texture of your hair. And make sure you grab that cheat sheet, that main magic recipe book when it drops, okay? Because you really want to find out what oil will benefit you and all the properties involved in certain oils and butters. Catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching.